part of the problem is most religions are sin conscious they get you to focus on the negative behaviors that you can't match up to therefore you always feel less than and therefore you've got to do the religious things to make you feel okay or acceptable again because you're not acceptable in those religions because of your behavior well actually the word sin in the new testament is a noun not a verb a noun is a thing not an action mm. but most religious things have translated it as if it's an action it's something we do but as you say you're absolutely right it is lost identity you know it is the loss of form or the, the loss of original uh, identity in that now there is a sinning well sinning therefore is the outworking of lost identity and that obviously outworks is anything that doesn't uh, match up to who we are you know if we're not operating and thinking and acting and like a son then we're operating it out of lost identity and a lost identity has a lot of behaviors which are not helpful because they're they're harmful because they're destructive because they're not coming out of who we are now that doesn't mean everything that we do uh, is necessary as you say bad but it's still coming out of a wrong so it can still be out of our own understanding you know actually operating out of our own understanding is the same thing it's operating out of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil rather than the tree of life you know so if we understand that it is a noun and it's a state of being then it's a state of being in lost identity that mm. that's really the reality of it and there are mm. so many words like that that the meaning is lost when they're translated from sort of greek into latin back into english from greek and latin and therefore will whose understanding is it and you're right you know repentance is definitely one of those and um, someone someone quoted i saw on one of my facebook things or was it there or in youtube uh, oh well the greek word means pent which means like a penthouse which so that it's a return to the top level which yeah may have a perspective in greek but metanoia that's the latin not the greek you know so even if you think okay well they're translating it into pent but actually it's repentance repentance it doesn't just mean return to a, another level of thinking. There's a religious perspective on it. And the same thing with sin. They're all tied together and they present a religious picture that presents us as needing to do something to earn our forgiveness. You know, and that's where these things come in. They're very much focused on the negative, which will keep us from our true identity because it will always be focusing on what we do as a result of our lost identity rather than a state of being which enables us to live out of our identity so you're absolutely right and i and i again this words like this just they are the central foundation of religion and a lot of christianity has become old covenant focused because they've laying the foundations of the old covenant in the new and that would be expressed you know in hebrews 6 1 and 2 don't lay a foundation again of these things like dead works repentance from dead works faith in god baptisms laying on a hands well laying on a hands from an old covenant meant you put your hand on an animal and you transferred your sin to the animal so it could be sacrificed instead of you <laughs> it's like you know all these things are so fundamental almost within their christian religious systems that we thought that they were the things we need to teach people and in reality we should not teach them and lay again that foundation because we're not in the old covenant and in reality none of the gentiles were in the old covenant anyway only jewish people were in the old covenant under the law so the 613 articles that are in the law never applied to the Gentiles anyway. Yeah. But we're teaching them to apply those things as if they did. Now, there is only one new man in Christ. There is no Jew nor Gentile. So there is no law to follow. We're in grace. And all of these things really have the same basic foundational 
uh, error in that it's an old covenant way of thinking, not a new covenant way of living in abundant, limitless grace, you know, and mercy and love, um, which is all unconditional. Yeah. Hi everyone, we're starting a Patreon page and we would like to invite you to partner with us. You can find us on Patreon at patreon.com slash freedom ARC. Partner with us in taking the message of God's unconditional love, limitless grace, triumphant mercy to a bigger global audience.